Today at Cardiff Castle, the Royal British Legion pays tribute to the soldiers who died in battle. Many people gather to commemorate and show their respect to the brave men and women. Inside the castle showed crosses laid on the ground, from loved ones with heartfelt messages to others simply thanking the soldiers for their sacrifice. Hundreds of people gathered to take in the event and St Nicholas School was amongst the hundreds of people. Uh, we've brought our children today to the National Service so that they can reflect and think about uh, all those people that have died in war so that they can live in peace. As a head teacher, I feel it's essential that the children commemorate these events as it's through their knowledge that hopefully we will never end up in a war again. Poppies mean to me, like, it's very special because all the so so soldiers who had the courage to go and fight and had the strength because if they didn't go out there, then we wouldn't be here today. The Military Wives Choir took centre stage in honour of the ones lost. Ruth Hastings, a member of the choir, says the women are her support group and were there for her when her husband was serving in war. My husband was a paratrooper uh, years ago in Paris and was uh, served in the Falklands. And, um, I joined the choir back about five years ago, which has been absolutely amazing. These girls are fantastic. The support we give each other is amazing. To be here near my home, because I come from Brecon, is absolutely, for me, it's very, very emotional. Secretary of State and Lord Mayor of Cardiff attended the memorial and joined in prayers. First Minister of Wales, Carwyn Jones, read a Welsh poem in memory of the brave. The fields of remembrance are spread across the UK, Cardiff Castle being one of the six memorial fields. The importance of remembering those who gave up their lives for our freedom will forever stand and will never be forgotten. Jessica Morley reports.